Good evening everyone. Let's proceed to our review in English part 2. Question number 1. These patients are facing blank death. Letter A prominent. Letter B significant. Letter C imminent. Or letter D imminent. So, the correct answer here is letter C, it's imminent. So, imminent is often used to describe someone or something that stands about above others in a noticeable way. While the other one is imminent, it's used to describe something that is about to happen very soon. That's why the correct answer here is these patients are facing imminent death number two tank units evolve from the cavalry regiments and the controls are like the blank of a horse letter a rain b rain c rain or letter d ran the correct answer is letter b uh, it spells as R-E-I-N. So, rein is a long, narrow strap attached at one end to a horse's bit, typically used in pairs to guide or check a horse while riding or driving. Question number three. They blank talking for over an hour before Layla arrives. Letter A has been, B had been, C have been, or letter D had. So the correct answer is letter B. They had been talking for over an hour before Layla arrived. So had been is used to mean that something happened in the past and has already ended. Number four, I am blank, my friend's place now. So, letter A, at, B, on, C, in, D, off. So, the correct answer here is letter C. I am in my friend's place now. So, another example here is, this dress comes in four sizes. Question number five, he is the king of the dead. So, letter A, Homer, B, Hades, C, Poseidon, or letter D, Zeus. The correct answer is letter B. Question number six, she is the goddess of love and beauty. Letter A, Mahadevi. B, Hestia. C, Artemis. Or letter D, Aphrodite. So, madali lang to. Very obvious yung sagot dito. It's letter D. It's Aphrodite. Aphrodite and the gods of love. Goddess of love and beauty. Getty Villa exhibitions. The essence of Aphrodite's power was her ability to provoke desire. Question number seven. I adjure you to blank your bad habits. So, letter A, adjure. B, abjure. C, ambivalent. Or letter D, ambiguous. The correct answer here is letter B. So, abjure it means to renounce, to disown. While adjure means to request earnestly. So, it should be I adjure you to abjure your bad habits. Question number 8. An early frost in Florida can blank the orange crop 
negatively. Letter A, effect. Or letter B, affect. The correct answer here is letter B, it's effect. So, an early frost in Florida can affect the orange crop negatively. So, affect is with an an, a means to influence, as in the venom affected the villain, villain or to act as in she affected an air of superiority. While, af while effect with an e means a result as in the effect of the nail was notorious or the lighting effects were spectacular. Question number nine. Fight like cats and dogs. A metaphor. B simile. C metonymy. Or is it letter D, alliteration? The correct answer is letter B. It is simile. So a simile is a figure of speech that compares two unlike things using the words like or as. Question number 10. Life is a highway. A. Metaphor. B. Personification. C. Metonymy or letter D. Alliteration The correct answer is letter A. It's metaphor. Metaphor is a figure of speech in which a word or phrase is applied to an object or action to which it is not literally applicable. Question number 11. What is Republic Act number 9262 or Vow C? So letter A. Violence against women and their children. B. Violence against women and their children. Letter C. Violence against women and children. Or letter D. Violence against women and children. The correct answer is letter B. So, it's violence against women and their children. So, what is Republic Act number 9262 or the Anti-Violence Against Women and Their Children Act of 2004? So, it is a law that seeks to address the prevalence of violence against women and their children, or vow C, by their intimate partners like their husband or ex-husband, live-in partner or former live-in partner, boyfriend or girlfriend or ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, dating partner or former dating partner. Question number 12. The state will play a vital role in the safe, unwholesome, rearing of children for them to be protected and to become good citizens of the country. Letter A, Republic Act number 9165. B, Republic Act number 8505. Letter C, Republic Act number 10364. Or letter D, Republic Act number 7610. The correct answer is letter D. An act providing for stronger deterrence and special protection against child abuse, exploitation, and discrimination, and for other purposes. So, pag ang mga bata ay pinoprotektahan, it is Republic Act Number 7610. Question number 13. The trees are losing blank leaves. A. There. B. There. C. His. Or letter D. Her. So the correct answer is letter A. The trees are losing their leaves. So there is a possessive referring to the same they from earlier in the sentence. There is a contraction of they are used in a conversation or informal writing. Number 14, my mom 
and blank love movies. Letter A, me. B, I. C, myself. Or letter D, her. The correct answer is letter B. My mom and I love movies. So I is a subject pronoun. Me is an object pronoun. And myself is a reflexive or insensitive pronoun. Question number 15. Who wrote this line? Where ignorance is bliss, it is folly to be wise. A. Robert Browning B. William Shakespeare C. Rudyard Kipling or letter D. Edgar Allan Poe The correct answer is letter B. William Shakespeare Question number 16. What nationality was Robert Louis Stevenson, writer of Treasure Island? A. English B. Scottish C. Welsh Letter D. Irish The correct answer is letter B. Question number 17. Who was the author of the famous storybook Alice Adventures in Wonderland? Letter A. H. G. Wells Letter B. Lewis Carroll Letter C. Mark Twain or Letter D. E. B. White the correct answer is letter B. Question number 18. Cabbages and Kings 1904 is either a novel or a collection of related short stories written by O. Henry. In it, he coined the phrase Banana Republic. On what was his title base? A. Mark Twain's The Prince and the Pauper. B. Lewis Carroll's poem, The Walrus and the Carpenter. C. The Shenanime, an 11th century Persian epic poem. Or letter D. Alice Hagen Rice's Mrs. Wiggs of the Cabbage Patch. The correct answer is letter B. Number 19. Two versions of Robert A. Henlon's novel, Stranger in a Strange Land, have been published. The edited version first published in 1961 and the original full length 60,000 words longer, published posthumously in 1991. From what does the title derive? The play Antony and Cleopatra by William Shakespeare, B. The Old Testament Book of Exodus, C. The novel Gulliver's Troubles by Jonathan Swift, or letter D. The book Utopia by Sir Thomas More. The correct answer is B, the Old Testament book of Exodus. Number 20. Southern American poet, novelist, and literary critic Robert Penn Warren wrote All the King's Men in 1946. The novel won the the 1947 Pulitzer Prize for Fiction. On what is the book's title based? A. A verse in the nursery rhyme, Humpty Dumpty. B. William Shakespeare's play, Richard III. C. Oscar Wilde's short story, The Young King. Or letter D. Joyce Kilmer's poem, Kings. The correct answer is letter A, a verse in the nursery rhyme, Humpty Dumpty. Number 21. Which novel eventually published in 1945 was rejected by a New York publisher stating it is impossible to sell animal stories in the USA? A. Animal Farm B. Black Beauty C. Watership Down or letter D. The Tale of Peter Rabbit the correct answer is letter 